hello. Um, first thing that I would like for you to do is I want you to pause this and go get this document. This document is on Edline in your class under assignment. So go to your Edline, to your pre-cal class, go to assignments, and this will be the top document there. It's called Student Notes Sinusoidal Functions. I want you to go get this first uh, so you don't have to write all of this down. Um, so anyway, go ahead and pause and go get that, and I'll be here waiting on you. Don't worry about it. Okay, welcome back. So what we're going to do here is we're going to look at a word problem and we're going to answer some questions that you probably are... These questions on this document are things that you need to think in your head when you're working a word problem. So they're guiding you on how to approach these kinds of questions. Um, so we've got a Ferris wheel, um, Texas State Fair. I wish I was there. And we've got some information about this Ferris wheel. It's, it's called the Texas Star. And some important information about this from the official guide to the State Fair of Texas is that it has a diameter of 212 feet. And for some reason, you just happen to sit there and wait and see how long it takes for that thing to make one revolution because you're just a math person. And you see it takes 82 seconds. And of course, if you don't... There you go. If you don't think this... Uh... This is uh, anything that has to do with time is going to be associated with the period, and that's going to be the period that for uh, for our graph. The diameter. This is going to play around with our amplitude and our starting point, our vertical shift. So these are these are numbers that we're going to put in our equation. Um, luckily for us, the Texas Star doesn't come all the way down to the ground. It uh, only goes down to eight feet ab above the ground. Otherwise, the people that were in those cars would have a hard time with their feet if it came down and actually hit the ground. So this circle is eight feet up off the ground. That's going to be our vertical shift. So anyway, um, we get into the Ferris wheel, and apparently we're stopped. You know, We don't just jump in there while it's moving. And we have to wait a few more seconds while other people load. And finally, it takes us 50 seconds to reach the top. So I guess we had to sit there for a few seconds. Let's go through these questions and uh, answer them together. How high is the top of the Texas Star? Well, the diameter is 212 feet, but it does not stop, start on the ground. It starts 8 feet off the ground. So the Texas Star is 220 feet up off the ground. This is going to be our crest or our peak. Um, if you're a cosine person, this is a very important number for you. All right, what time will your stopwatch read when you get back down to the bottom? Now, remember it took us 50 seconds to reach the top. And once we're at the top, we have to go halfway from top to bottom. And half of a full revolution, half of 82 is 41. I'm going to write top to bottom here next to that 41. So 50 plus 41, that is 91 seconds. And then how much elapsed time will it take to reach the top of the Texas star for the second time? Well, here we can do one full period. It's 82 seconds, right? One full period. We, it took us 50 seconds to reach the top, and so it took us 82 seconds or one full period to reach there for the second time. All right. So... Let's see if we can't scroll down a little bit here. Now draw a sinusoidal graph of this situation, label all critical points. So let's see what's going on here. We are going to have time down here on our x-axis. And on our y-axis, we're going to have distance off the ground. And hopefully we never actually hit the ground. So we never want to be here at zero. What's the lowest we ever get? The lowest we ever get is... Is it, can you still see it? It's just barely up there. It's eight feet off the ground. And this first question we asked, how high is the top, is 220 feet. What is this range here from 8 to 220? Well, it's 212, which is exactly the diameter of the Ferris wheel. And one thing that we can do is we can start with the very first point that we have. It took us 50 seconds to reach the top, so let's just start from there. We can call this 50 seconds. We were at the top. And then we go one full period before we reach the top again. 
So one full period later, 132 seconds is when we're at the top. And when were we at the bottom? See these, how these questions are helping me with my graph? We were at the bottom 91 seconds. And you can see that this is halfway between the, those two peaks. 50 plus 41 is 91. 91 plus 41 is 132. And so we've got this little cosine graph here. So we've got our beginning. 50 seconds later, we were at the top. And 132 seconds, one full period after that, we were at the top again. 82 seconds later. So that's what we're dealing with. So that was, you know, I'm not saying that that is easy, but, you know, it's not real difficult to just pull some numbers out there. Some important questions here were how far would we eventually get up off the ground? That's going to be our maximum. When did that happen? When were we at, we at the bottom? When were we back up at the top? Now, of course, if you're a sine person, there's going to be a very important number here for you. And that's the sinusoidal axis. Well, I guess, that, of course, that's the same for everybody. We need to know what that is. And remember from our work from last week, we add the top and the bottom and divide by 2. This will give us our sinusoidal axis, which happens to be 114. Because 220 plus 8 is 228 divided by 2 is 114. All right, so let's see if we can't go answer the next questions. Write an equation of this sinusoid. So I think that most of you on Friday seem pretty happy with our uh, writing the equations, at least once you saw the graphs, it wasn't too difficult. We're going to look at our sinusoidal axis. Sinusoidal axis is 114, and then we need an amplitude. How far up do we go from 114, or how far down do we go from 114? and that is a distance of 106. So that's going to be our amplitude. Our period is 82 and remember we had to do that um, period equals 2 pi divided by b formula. So if our period is 82 seconds and we solve this for b we're going to get pi over 41. So let's go back and write all this down. And I'm going to start, I'm going to do a cosine graph. I'll start from this very first peak, so I'll have a horizontal shift of over 50. So my y equals sinusoidal axis, 114. See, our sinusoidal axis was 114. Plus our amplitude, 106. And I'm going to do a cosine graph. And then b is pi over 41, and my phase shift was right 50 seconds. So what you can do from with this is answer all of these questions. Predict your height above the ground when t equals 15 seconds. Let's write this more as like a distance and a time. What if I wrote this as distance above the ground equals 114 plus 106 cosine pi over 41 and then t minus 50. So predict your height above the ground when t equals 15 seconds. You're going to plug 15 in for t. And t equals 75 seconds, you plug, ah, you plug 75 in to t. And 5 minutes, we're going to, of course, do 5 times 60, which is 300 seconds. You plug that in for t. So let's see if we can't go do that real quick. Let's pull up our smart view. Give it just a few seconds to load here. <laughs> Should I already have this up? I apologize. And we'll go to our y equals and let's type this in. Let's uh, clear that. And let's clear that. So let's type this in. 114 plus 106 cosine parentheses pi divided by 41. Make sure I didn't do 411 there. And then x minus 50. Close parentheses there. My window, I'm going to start x minimum, negative 10 is fine. My x maximum, let's look out about 400 seconds. 
and then x scale let's go by hundreds and then my y minimum how far down do we need to see not very far down let's go down negative 10 y maximum how far up do we need to see well we at least least need to see 220 so let's see 250 y scale let's go by tens I guess and there we have our graph there and we go up and then down we 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 okay so let's go back and answer our questions here um, let's find a value for 1575 and 300 so we're going back to our calculator we graph it we having lots of fun lots of fun right then Texas whatever that thing is called star whatever okay so I go second trace I want a value at 15 and that appears to be 19.006 so I'll get my little pen here 19.006 and then 75 and 300 of course you can do that too I'll let you do that how high were you when you started your stopwatch were you moving up or down when you started timing well that is where t equals zero so we'll go, let's go back and look at that t equals zero that's going to be a value when t equals zero so I'll go to value zero and you can see we were at 32 feet up so I guess we were back a little bit uh, before um, when we started we probably didn't start right there at the bottom so that's 32.222 what is the value of t the second time you are 100 feet off the ground so we go back to our picture and let's go to y equals and type in a second equation of 100 So we want to know, here's the first time we were at 100. We want to know the second time we were at 100. So I'm going to calculate an intersection. And I want to get over here to the second time here. About right there. That's pretty close. That's close to that second time. Enter, enter, enter. And we were... Waiting on my calculator here. Maybe I'm not waiting on it. Let's try that again. Calculate an intersection. First curve, second curve, guess. There we go. 109 seconds later. 109.771 seconds later. So we'll go back here and write that down. 109.771. What is the value of t the fifth time you're at 175 feet off the ground. Well, you can graph y equals 175 and go do that. So anyway, that's a pretty much what you have to do. You're going to have to look at a word problem, write yourself an equation, and answer the question. So I am not going to be there tomorrow. I'm not feeling really great today. Um, please be nice to the sub and, you know, I don't know, hug a bunny or something. Be, just be, a, be good. I will see you guys on Tuesday.